You know, one of the things that, that we don't want to do is continue to be in the continuous development cycle. As we move into SaaS products, the tools are already there. The cloud providers have already come up. The software as a service providers already have the applications that are up and running. They take care of the back end. It allows us more time to focus on the mission of SBA rather than spending our time developing code, doing those kind of things. You configure the application for what you need, whether it's workflow, you know, special fields, whatever that might be. You do the configuration on it and you work through that, but we get out of the back end business. It gets us out of our data center, puts it in the cloud, and it's scalable. At SBA, software as a service is really important for scalability because during disasters, if you look at um, last year, uh, hurricanes Harvey, Irma, Maria, those three hurricanes, we added more than 5,000 people to SBA's books to support those hurricanes. And we had $6.9 billion in, in loans for small businesses and residential. Having software as a service and the scalability of that to be able to add those users both internally and then to be able to support the public, in this case for the disasters, that flexibility and the scalability will take us a long way, not just for what we did over the last year, for those hurricanes, but for the long run as well.